Hi, I'm Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff at SDR Play. In this video, I'm going to explain and demonstrate the VRX function available in SDR Connect. What is a VRX? VRX is short for virtual receiver. What is a virtual receiver? A virtual receiver is a receiver implemented in software. Each VRX added in SDR Connect takes the signal from the defined sample rate, processes it, and outputs the demodulated signal. SDR Connect can create and run multiple VRXs inside the same application instance. When you launch SDR Connect, a single primary SP or primary spectrum is created. When adding a VRX from the primary SP toolbar, each VRX added can independently have its own mode, filter width, step size, squelch setting, AGC audio setting, as well as its own audio output setting. So let's begin. To add a VRX, click the plus icon on the primary SP toolbar. VRXs are labeled on their spectrum display with the word VRX followed by their VRX number. Added VRXs start at zero and will increment as additional VRXs are added. To close a VRX, click the X on the top right of the added VRX spectrum display. When running multiple VRXs, only the primary SP can change the local oscillator of the RSP. The local oscillator is always in the center of the primary SP spectrum display, or the center frequency shown on the divider of a fully zoomed out primary SP spectrum display. Manually adjusting the filter width of the demodulated audio for a VRX is within the AUX SP display. First, you will need to select which VRX by enabling the Enable AUX SP icon on the toolbar of the VRX you wish to adjust. Each VRX added will have its own sidebar that functions exactly like the primary SP's sidebar. Within the sidebar, you can select the mode of the modulation, predefined filter widths based on the demodulation mode selected, step sizes, and the option to apply squelch. You can also apply an audio AGC from the predefined audio AGC profiles, as well as redirecting the audio output. Specific options in the sidebar are only available for adjustment based on the demodulation mode selected. This applies to the primary SP as well as any added VRXs. I would like to end this video with two real-time VRX demonstrations showing what I highlighted earlier in this video. First, we will monitor three mid-band HF time stations using three VRXs, WWV, a time station based out of the United States, RWM, a Russian time station, and CHU in Canada, also a time station. With three VRXs, I can easily check east, west, and north propagation paths to my location using these time stations.
For this second demonstration, I will decode FT8 transmissions on the primary SP, piping the audio output using a virtual audio cable into a third-party multi-mode decoder, and with an added VRX, also check the 40 meter band for any DX voice transmissions while still decoding FT8. I hope you have found this video informative and helpful. Remember, when adding VRXs, you are only limited to the sample rate of the device, the number of virtual audio cables set when piping the demodulated audio to a decoder, and the processing power and memory of your computer. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section of this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. 7-3.